to all of audience now we are live man please start yeah. very good morning to all of audience today is panchami the fifth day of worshiping goddess sandamata is worshiped on the fifth day she is worshiped as the mother who opens the door of salvation the term skandamata signifies that she is the mother of lord skanda also known as lord kartikeya goddess skandamata mounts on the ferocious lion she carries baby mugan with six faces on her lap she is depicted with four hands she carries lotus flowers in her upper two hands she holds baby skanda in one of her right hands and keeps the other right hand in abhaya mudra she is just a minute she is depicted with four hands she carries lotus flower in her upper two hands she holds baby skanda in one of her right hands and keeps the other right hand in abhaya mudra she sits on a lotus flower and because of goddesses padmasana hence the fifth day of navratri is the day of goddesses kanta mata om devi skanda mata ay namaha i welcome to today's our eminent speaker a business woman viju bhatia gupte viju bhatia gupte is an electronics engineer and masters in business management currently the managing partner of shri and controls the sales team across india and the factory in surat she has two decade of experience of sales and business development across india prior to her own business she has worked in sales product management and business unit head in various indian american and multinational companies her past experience had assignment of asia so has traveled extensively in asia and done business with people of diverse background in the first year of distributor of a major american company her company won three awards for outstanding achievements largest variant selling globally and joining million dollar club in three years her company is 25 crores and growing rapidly she will be presenting on topic feminism a boon in entrepreneurship vijay ma'am we are very eager to listen to you and your experience corporate world over to you vijay ma'am please bless us with your knowledge thank you hi good morning everybody good morning everybody and thank you indology foundation for giving this opportunity to speak on this subject i would be uh, sharing the presentation and well happy navratri to all the viewers i would be speaking on feminism a boon in entrepreneurship to begin with what is feminism feminism is about equality it's about gender equality it's not about anybody is superior so it's it's about giving equal rights to a male and female uh this can be achieved this is what ban ki moon has specified that this can be achieved by engagement of everyone all of us have to be included to get feminism in india we all feel that india is a developing country and we have lot of rights for women we all know about many rights we we have rights against domestic violence we have rights against property inheritance so there is the law has given us complete freedom for all these aspects but it is it is upon the women it is upon us to exercise those rights 
as Malala says, we cannot succeed when half of us are held back. So my further presentation would be focusing on, and it's a motive to inspire women. So for the male viewers, please do not feel it is not an intention, it is just an exclusion. Thank you. A woman. Now, what is who is she? She takes care of the finances of the family. She takes care of the relationship. She takes care of the well-being. She takes care of her children. She's a PR manager, public relation manager. She ensures that everybody in the uh, in her family are represented and respected on social and family occasions. She definitely also takes care of herself and she projects herself as a confident woman to the world. Obviously, she takes care of the housekeeping, cooking, or supervising the domestic helps. Now, all this actually means a lot of management. Uh, uh, trust me, uh, a homemaker does and manages her home very well. So she does a lot of management. Uh, she takes care of the inventory management. You, you won't see an Indian household where there is uh, no sugar or no milk. So definitely inventory management is taken care of. She manages all these things perfectly well. So there are a lot of management principles which actually go into running a household and especially an Indian household, which has gotten uh, innumerable types of spices, uh, ingredients, a vast variety of ingredients. So she definitely knows these things and it has been they, they have been watching it from child, childhood. So since then, it has been incorporated into them. And this management is what is extremely important. What is she? What are her traits? She's assertive. She agrees to imperfection. Now, uh, I, I, I agree all the parents in the viewers, the group, will agree that we, as parents, we understand how imperfect we are. So this is a natural process. The natural process is teaching us imperfection, empathy. Oh, as a female, you definitely have a lot of empathy towards mother nature, towards your children, towards, uh, it's, it's inherent. It, it's an inherent quality which makes us females. Passionate, yes, certainly. Trust me, running a household for years itself needs a lot of passion. So there is a passion. Passionate is one of the traits. Courage, gratitude, power. It also takes a lot, tremendous power to give birth to a child. So that power is also God given and inherent. Apart from that, she also knows which role has to be active or which role has to be dormant and when. Now, when she's pregnant for nine months, she knows that she doesn't have to be very powerful and she, she knows she has to be docile in physical activities. When her child is in trouble, she knows to use that courage to the maximum. As Vaishali just said about Skanda Mata, how powerful she is and how she's taking in one arm her child and, and sitting on the lion. That itself needs a lot of courage and power. Now, what is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is building a process, designing it, launching it, and running a new business. Uh, trust me, this is much more easier with technology and digitalization. Uh, this is not an uh, for the for the non uh, uh, business oriented people. Earlier, there were very difficulties. We, we used to have, go through a lot of approvals uh, in the excise era. With GST, things have been easy. So, you know, it is not very, very, very difficult to start a own company. So, yes, but uh, it, it needs a lot of things together. That's what is eased with technology and digitization. What are the characteristics of a successful entrepreneur? Curiosity. Uh, if you do not have curiosity, you, you need to ask why. Well, that curiosity is developed in all of us as children. That's how we are seekers and we learn the world, we explore the world. So curiosity is one of the prime important factors. Because that will 
lead you towards being a successful entrepreneur structured experimentation you got to you got to have some imagination and with that imagination some experimentation like you know oh this is how it would run and got to do some structured experimentation how would the import of goods happen how would the trading happen how would you make a chemical formula so all those things or if you are into uh, manufacturing how would the manufacturing take place how will the goods arrive uh, transportation you just have to experiment adaptability that's a very very important aspect especially now adaptability is true especially in the covid times we all had to learn to be adaptable we we were all not meeting face to face we had to completely adapt to the digital era of uh not physical meetings but meeting people online meeting our clients online meeting consultants online so things everything moved from physical world to online world and yet we had to do physical movement of goods so adaptability was a very key especially in this covid times and as it is adaptability is a very important aspect decisiveness oh yes definitely uh when you are speaking of an entrepreneur the decision making has to happen very rapidly and uh, there is a number of things in a day which you have to take decisions you have to take tough decisions at times where your company's profit is at stake because what is important to you your belief systems what are you commitment to the customers is your trust with the customers more important than your profit you have to take those tough calls so yes that's a very important thing a uh, team building team building is extremely significant as you grow ahead in the organization as your organization grows bigger the team maintaining a good spirit between the team and having a strong team it, it said you are as law as tall as your team so you know that's the very important factor a uh, risk tolerance yes got to take risks this undoubtedly it goes without saying there a lot of risks coming in when you take decisions and go through it you have to be comfortable with failure you know, there's there's a sense that uh, uh, you got to adapt that you are going to fail at some point of time so you have to take your lessons and go ahead persistence that's a very important quality you have to be persistent with your customers you have to be persistent many a times to gain new customers uh with whatever you are trying to pursue in in your uh, probably if you are trying to run a patent or you are trying to run some experiment you have to continuously uh, fail innumerable times but still be persistent upon it innovation certainly a very important quality this innovation is what will keep the organization the company running and there has to be a long term focus because uh, as as just now i said covid the covid period has brought in so much of uh, uh, online stuff so the adaptation and a long term focus that how are we going to get in the next decade this is important so if you look at the characteristics of a successful entrepreneur and if you look at the traits of a female i'm sure you can see some resemblance right many of the things did do match so what i'm saying is these earlier traits and this is going together they are not parallel lines they do match together so what i mean to say is women are natural entrepreneurs yes i again repeat women are natural entrepreneurs there are many many things which they are unknowingly doing every day every part of their life and that is bringing them all these factors of risk taking appetite taking decisions uh, team building they they, they do uh, embibe the family together so that is what they have to do when they have to build a team so with all these measures 
all these traits of women, they are natural entrepreneurs. I measure the progress of a community by the degree of progress which women have achieved. Absolutely true. It, it derives how much the community has achieved. You can see a lot of communities in India which have gone up because of the feminist nature. That, that's, that's very important. Selling is not a pushy, winner takes all macho act. It is an empathy led, process driven, and knowledge intensive discipline. Because in the end, you buy from people. So when it comes to people, there is a lot of empathy, there is a lot of connect, there is a lot of emotional. Uh, these days, a buzzword going on in the uh, uh, corporate world or in the business world is emotional intelligence. So emotion, that that is very important, which I guess we all have it. Factors which women to seem to think, they, they generally don't think about making money. They uh, think about it either there are some push factors. When there is a death of a breadwinner, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but they have to look out in the world and fed for themselves. They have to fed for themselves. So that is the time when it pushes them. The, the situation pushes them to become the breadwinner. A permanent inadequacy in income of the family. Somebody has lost the job. Spouse has lost the job. Some uh, some health problems, health issues. So that is another some fall. This is where they are pushed to a situation. It's it's the circumstances which are pushing them to this situation. Then there are other pull factors. The pull factors are a need and perception of women's liberalization. You know. The, the gain of recognition. Uh, when you work in a in a corporate or in a company, in a Indian company, in an American company, in any organization, uh, you actually work for your boss. And there are a lot of things which you may not agree. You 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 have to compile to it. You have to. There, there is no choice. You uh, you are in the part of the compliance, and you have to comply with those set of norms. You may or may not agree. So that is one of the reasons where they they women would like to have that sense of purpose. So they want to have equal independence, become their own boss. So this is one of the pull factors which pulls them to entrepreneurship. Which are the motivating factors which influence the women on this recognition? Certainly, there is a sense of recognition which comes in from all the stratas of the society, be it your customers, your vendors, your family, your society. So, yes, there is a recognition. They influence. Uh, it's, it's like when there, is a, when, when there is a positive atmosphere on a person, financially, the person is independent. Uh, she's able to uh, hire other people. That does matter and influence in the society. There are mostly there are also much internal factors which motivate her. It include creativity, respect, and happiness of other people. And you will be amazed to know that profit is not a true motivation. It is not a true motivation. It's generally the sense of purpose. It's, it's creating a creating a company. That's that's the major thing. The real motivation for people is to create and sell popular products. It's not money, but the interest you have in that subject. What are the reasons for entrepreneurship? You can see in this pie chart, most of the reasons here, you can see it's the scope to more to work in a more creative environment. This is what uh, people who have worked with other companies, they realize that they are not letting you be that creative. So they, they feel that urge had an idea that needed to be taken in the market, preferred to be my own boss, desire for better work personal balance. Oh, 
this is this is really uh, india inc today is going way beyond 8 10 12 hours so when when you choose to be self employed then there are a lot of advantages which you can give to yourself you can work flexi hours not only that you can also give that to your team because that is what is important to you felt entrepreneurship would be more financially rewarding that's, that's only 7% of the people who went to become entrepreneurs and there are other reasons what do women need to start a business but there are many social conditions uh, i haven't spelled them out uh there is a lot of support definitely which you need from close friends your family and husband uh we as a society do not give that respect to a business to an to an entrepreneur we are more uh, as a society we tend to be less risk taking and uh, more comfortable in a comfort zone we are you know it's it's like uh, it's like congratulating people when they work for google amazon or you know those biggie names but when it comes to people startups we are not very uh, we don't appreciate as a community as a society which also discourages definitely women to get into it and that's us we can definitely change it then there is the uh, inner support group social conditions become the more distant factors and support group is a more closer factor so if the support group is strong definitely the lady would cross across those barriers we have many of our role models which are there in the industry who have come up we have an ample amount of people ample women who are there who have come up with these exemplary examples for us to look at this lady here is one of the women who got a funding of about 1 billion dollars she's a co-founder of the online marketplace shop clues uh with a lot of internet entrepreneurship what i mean by internet entrepreneurship is uh you can have a lot of businesses on the net so that that makes it very easier for the uh, rather than a physical a physical product so that's software it that's all about this lady here worked as an investment banker and she developed her started her company nike which is into cosmetic and wellness these are extremely good examples for us where we have worked this is senior lady vandana lutra started blcc we all are aware of this name and she's she's won a padma shri in 2013 so indian women doing it at i'm a part of 6000 professionals she she's not only has she started the company won the government uh, she's one of a major exporter her products are exported in about 14 countries so not only has she earned foreign revenue for the nation she has also employed 6000 professionals so that itself is a big big take for the yes this is kiran mazumdar shah i think we all have known this lady she she's she's a biocon managing director she started this company in bangalore in her rented house garage of a rented house with a capital of 10000 rupees today i think she's one of the uh, uh, richest women in india and she's uh, they are also honored with uh, doing creating the covid vaccine for india so biocon is one of the companies who's making these covid vaccines so there's, there's so much they could biocon is huge this is what these women have done. We, we have in numerous role models. I've just picked four, and many, many in the in the field of medicine, in the field of agriculture. 
lot of women. These are some of the stats which I would like to emphasize and you would like to know about the for the women entrepreneurs in India. Out of the 58.5 million entrepreneurs, nearly 14% are women. Um, this is this is not bad as a number. Uh, the global number is 33%. And US is about 42%. UK is somewhere about 36%. So we have a way to go. We, we can improve a lot here. And this is not only this is not only what uh, it can do. It can do a lot of the further report will show you the stats will show you Indian women owned businesses provide employment for 13.45 million people. So that that's a lot of big number for our populated country. So that's what we can do. About one third of women Indian women entrepreneurs work in the agriculture sector followed by manufacturing and retail trade. In 2017, only 2% 2 of startup funding went to a woman founder. Way low, we can, we can do a lot of things here. The top 10 fundraisers of 2017 added up to 8.5 billion. The top 10 fund raised by female-led startup was only 136 billion. This is a rapid gap. A 2015 study by McKinsey Global Institute shows India's GDP could rise somewhere between 16 to 60 percent by 2025 if women participated equally with men in the economy. Projections show that this could mean a whooping dollar 2.9 trillion added to the economy. This, this, this is something great which the women can add up in the Indian economy. This is a huge number. 30% of India's tech folk workforce is female. Although 51% of entry level jobs in India's IT and PPM industries are women, indicating that women are leaving at junior and mid levels. I wonder why. It's, it's, it's majoritarily because of a patriarchy society or Unfortunately, there is lack of support in the family, could be. It is not the support system. It is each individual female, each individual woman who has to understand that she has to be economically independent. The moment she quits and she becomes, she, she does not have economy it not only bothers as a family it does bother to the nation so please understand that it has there are more there is a more larger picture to it than just being you independent and uh, it happens to a lot of women and it's it's uh, very good that after the childbirth after take, they take care of the child for a few years they decide of a comeback and that comeback is very good. That's that's a very good point which they have been doing now. It's okay to give your children a few years and then come back. Yes, that that is very good. Yeah, this is what I mentioned earlier. Radhika Agrawal of e-commerce marketplace Shopclues was the first co-founder of a billion-dollar company. So, yes. Now the youngest entrepreneur is a 21 year old girl so yes women are coming up what i'm trying to say is that the look the uh, regular the regular trades a female by herself itself has got so much of management and so many inherent qualities which probably she is not even aware of those qualities are very very closely related to being an entrepreneur so these two gel well they 
they go well together. The entire, uh, my entire presentation has been trying to focus that the regular qualities itself are a boon in the entrepreneur world, in the business world. Taking decisions, managing time, managing money, managing inventory. This is all about, this is all about it, which women are regularly doing in their profiles, in their homes regularly. I would like to say that there is no chance for the welfare of the world unless unless the women in the country, the state of the women is improved. It is not possible for a bird to fly only on one wing. This is what Swami Vivekananda said. I would like to emphasize on this point that women have those natural inherent points with them the qualities are already built in them they just have to unleash those qualities they have to make sure that these qualities are these qualities are taken care of they are they are just unleashed they are being you utilized in a proper form they are they are being used up they are used up for the betterment of the family betterment of the nation this is extremely good qualities which a woman is gifted with i would request all the women around to please use these qualities and make sure that we utilize these qualities for the well-being of not only our families. What happens is when you give appropriate time to your, uh, when you are more uh, economically independent, you have, you have the chance to raise the kids. There is better quality education which you can give to them. Not only that, when you come across all these points, there is a better you. Definitely, you become much better. And that better you can bring in much more better qualities as a mother, as a teacher in you. You give it to your children, you give it to your family. These qualities are there. They are already inherent in you. So these just have to be unleashed. It is the power is there already. It, it is there in you. God has given us the power to have their children. That, that itself is an extremely daring power which women can come up with, which they can come up with. So please use these powers. Use what you have. You need only to build up some kind of a confidence. You have to have some. Uh, we also know a lot of, uh, uh, of women. We can see around in the environment. We, we see some uh, 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 old lady because of the lack of uh, lack of income in the family. She's been pushed to make some money, and you can see some small uh, trying to sell some street snacks. Yes, they they are doing it. They they have the power to do it. So it is just that that needs to be unleashed. And why only in a bad circumstance? It, uh, it can have good motives when there is the Indian women in the corporate world. They can definitely, many are coming up. Many are coming up. There's no doubt in it. The ratio is increasing. The numbers are increasing. That, once that comes up, the, you can see the exponential growth in not only the family, there is an exponential growth in the national economy as well. Moreover, aren't you giving so much of employment around your people? 
and those people are living a healthy life less stressful life because that's what if you believe in whatever are your belief systems you you might uh, uh, believe in a proper timing or you might not stress them out generally women are empathetic towards all all creatures all all fellow human beings so you're definitely going to be empathetic towards them ambitious yet empathetic so the ambition is there the drive is there then there is also empathy which which is very important which should not be uh, which should be covered and which should be emphasized that's that empathy is important uh, now when we do uh, video sessions in the covid environment there are a lot of children in the families we all know everybody is working from home so there are a lot of children who are crying we, we have to make sure that it's okay there are a lot of senior citizens who interrupt during our webinars during our sales meets our that's okay it's okay that that empathy goes a long way for an employee the health of the employees the mental health of the employees it matters a lot the moment organization is run by female there is a lot of empathy in it trust me the entire team is bonded is bonded so well it it's it's like a small family it's like a small it's it's like a child which he has created and that child is the company and she runs the organization that company with complete dedication with complete passion and with lots of empathy that empathetic approach brings in a very healthy a very passionate team and that team can do wonders that team can keep going for better keep roaring keep going for better heights it keeps getting better and better this is what i i would urge all the women around who have the experience who have the power to please unleash this potential in you and look into being an entrepreneur being your own boss does matter uh, it's it's a sense of purpose it's a sense of accomplishment which you achieve that achievement is not only limited to one family as the organization as the company grows that is passed on to multiple families isn't isn't this thought a very accomplished thought that the people in your team are healthy they are not stressed out they are they are not suffering from any medical problems they are not pushed to the core they are not committing suicide so you are giving them an extremely good environment they are not fired as well so you know you are, you are ensuring that it's win win for both the parties you as a business owner is able to get what you expect from them and they as employees are able to deliver in a in an every person would like to deliver in a nice environment so they are growing you are even grooming them so i guess this is a very good sense of accomplishment which happens in in the women once they take up this career i would say all the young women please think about it and urge to the the men men folk to please give equal rights to them and you see they can do a lot of wonders not only in the household but they can also do it for the family for the society and for the nation as whole these are extremely important things for us as a society because when we empower women to take decisions to be economically independent this helps the entire society on the whole which is what all these wise men have kept saying 
they, they, they have said it with a purpose. It's, it's very true. You can't fly with one wing. You, you fall apart. So these things are extremely important. There's a better half. And the moment the better half is emphasized, is nurtured, is supported, you can see the wonders which the female can do. There is Navratri is all about celebrating, celebrating the goddess, the female goddess. You can see how fierce these goddesses are, how fierce they are, how they have they are extremely powerful yet empathetic. The, the empathy is never missing from them. The motherhood is there. Still, the might to save the child from the enemies or from the animals. This is always been inherent. It has been, it has been a quality which is there in women. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, explain the qualities of women inherit and the qualities of an anthropodiar. And there is a lot of correlation between them. This correlation can be a good help, a win-win for the women in the society and for the business world. This, this can unleash the, the power which is there, which has been there in centuries with the women. And this correlation will not only help the immediate family, it will help the immediate society. It will help create a lot of employment. That is what is extremely necessary in today's world. Uh, we as a society have to also adapt and give treat, uh, I would not say more, but at least equal respect to an entrepreneur than a, a high profile working executive. So that also is owned, uh, that onus is on the society. That once these things improve, I'm sure there is no looking back. There is certainly no looking back on this subject. I would be very, very happy to say that these numbers are growing by the day, are growing regularly. And the major hurdle, major hurdle when it comes to starting up an organization is finance. People are uh, mostly, mostly uh, to start a company, people use their own personal funds. That is not necessary. There are many, many avenues which they are not aware of. Finance is available. So you have to reach out to people. You have to reach out to people and there are many avenues where finance can be arranged. So with, with all these factors, it, it's a, generally the hurdle is, a, is finance. People have ideas. They have the confidence. They have thought about a work plan. They are creative. They have imagined about it. They are passionate towards it. The major hurdle is finance. So when finance comes in, that is a hurdle which can be easily crossed. This, this hurdle can be crossed. And we can cross this barrier through many other ways. There's crowdfunding. There are many other ways. We can reach out to people. And in today's world, reaching out to people is not very difficult. We have social media. We have internet. There's a lot of things can be done. Trust me, there are many, many avenues, many facilities for women. A lot of banks are offering loans for women without even collateral. So there are extreme, lots and lots of facilities available. You just have to reach out. Just have to start. Well, easier said than done. This is what I would like to emphasize that and urge that get into it. The moment you get into it, you will cross those hurdles and you will come up 
very victorious and successful. Thank you. I would also like to thank uh, Ms. Vaishali Chavan for giving this opportunity. She, she's been my college mate and classmate, and we know each other since 30 years. She's an inherited part of the Indology Foundation. So thank you, Indology Foundation, and thank you, Vaishali, for giving me this opportunity on the auspicious days of Navratri to speak up about empowerment of women. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Viju. Thank you, Viju. Thank you very much to acknowledge me. I thanks to Indology Foundation to giving me this really a great honor to me. Thanks to Viju Man to enlighten us how woman is capable and confident in every sector. How she elaborate beautifully the role and importance of housewife. Characteristics of successful entrepreneur, the fast decision making, how it is important, risk factor, how to be failure, we have to take failure gracefully, learn from it and we should go ahead. How it will help to go next decade is very important. Thanks a lot for these points. How women are naturally entrepreneurs is really inspiring and I'm sure women will learn and get inspired by your talk. By giving examples of successful women, it just a lot help. You know the youngest woman is 21 years old. Just please us. It's fantastic. Thanks for such an outstanding presentation with the finest photos. I'm sure Foundation, SNDT, and Seagard, and our audience get inspired, including myself, learned a lot how we can take our forum at high level and how to grow. Thanks a lot for that. You taught us extremely, really. Thank you, Viju. Thanks for your outstanding speech. I thanks to SNDT and Seagard Institute for this collaboration and active part in this Navratri talks. They really did well. It is my, now my it is appeal to audience to please like and subscribe our YouTube channels, follow us on Twitter, like Facebook and Instagram. And uh, in, the, for in the evening session, Join us in the evening at 7 to 8.30. Our honorable speaker, Lieutenant Dr. P. Karpagarwali. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing right. Uh, Assistant Professor, Sri GVG, Viselakshan, Dhamparad, Tripura. And Dr. Meena Kute, ma'am, Principal, SNDT, Women College. These both speakers will elaborate us on two different subjects. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Viju. Thanks, audience. Thanks, Viju. Thanks a lot. I think session is over. <laughs>